to the market this morning, craving some mangoes. Very rainy start in Manila today. And of course, we haven't got an umbrella out with us. Of course we haven't. By the way, we're not going here. We, I just like the colors. Okay, we made it up to Market Market without getting too wet. Very rain day. It's like kind of, you feel like it's about to really, really, really rain, but it's just kind of spitting at the moment. But luckily from now on, most of this high street is underneath a roof and the market itself is also underneath a roof. We came here a few weeks ago. We haven't been for a while. They've got some really nice fresh vegetables. And when we wanted mangoes, we thought this must be the best place to get them. And if you remember, last time we came to this market, it rained as well. I think we are making it rain by going to the market, if that makes sense. I think it's because of us it's raining today, because we made the decision to go back to the market. Where it rained before. Yeah. Shields on. Shields on. I think we need shields to go here. Yeah. Mangoes. Now, we want to find humorous mangoes. Ideally, yeah. I don't think these are. They normally label it when they are. What's up, friend? Hi. How are you? Oh, it's cool to see a few more of these stands open. Yeah. A lot of these were closed before. Some of them are still closed, but a few are back open always have the local local produce from different areas. Really cool. Thank you. Are they, oh, very sweet. That's what we want. Yeah, that's good. Let's get some of those. Just like, I don't know, four? How much are they? 240 for one kilo. For one kilo, okay. How many, just like two? Because they're very ripe, we, we won't eat them quick enough. Okay, just one, one each. Yeah, sounds good. Two, two pieces, please. Yeah, maybe. Thank, Thank you. you. That's good, 138 for two big mangoes. Cheaper than it would be in the supermarkets. Yes. They also have a ton of avocados here in Rustans the other day. We saw they were on for 820 pesos per kilo. These are from Davao, so they're local ones. These are local ones. Yeah, they were imported in the supermarket. Here they're from the Philippines. So the cheaper, 320 per kilo. And you guys know we do like avocado toast and things like that. Yeah, they're still out of season, so they're still more than they usually are, but they're out of season. So it as long as it's cheaper than yeah. what we saw in the supermarket. Yeah. So that was super expensive. How many, just like two or three? Yeah, that's fine. It's so hot in there. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <sighs> One thing about wearing a face shield, very, I'm very hot. I'm breathing on myself when I'm so sweaty under her. That's okay, keep that, that's fine. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. This is one fruit we have not tried in Isn't the Philippines. It? It's a durian and a it's so spiky. It feels like I'm holding a hedgehog. I didn't know it was this hard. Really? I'm just taking a picture here and the lady let me hold this for my photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's so spiky. Do you want to feel it with your hand? It's like oh. so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Look. No way. That's crazy. I did not know that it was that spiky. There you go, you learn something new every day. I do. There's like many monsteras there. I've got a pot that needs a plant. <laughs> I think we knew you'd get distracted by the plants if we came to the market. Another day, another plant. Hey, I haven't got one in ages. Okay, we just got back, washed some of the bits that we picked up. We've got some curly kale, some beans, some silly tomatoes, apples, bananas, mango and avocados. We're going to grab one of these now, crack it open. 
And one of my favourite ways to enjoy a Philippines mango is because it's so, so sweet, especially the Gimaris ones we got today. Super happy we managed to find some of that in Manila. I know that in Gimaris, the mangoes, you can't bring any more mangoes onto the island because they're so pure, like the seed, they don't want to let any cross-contaminating of different species of mango, if that's what it's called. Do you say species for fruits? I guess so. Um, but obviously they can be taken off the island to sell and that's why we've got some in Manila, which is amazing. And we have it with this natural yogurt. So the natural yogurt's kind of a, it's quite sour in a way. It's quite like a sharp kind of taste and it just cuts some of that sweetness out. So you just, it's such, I like the flavor. It makes, it makes my mouth water just thinking about it. So we're gonna have some nice natural yogurt as a bit of a breakfast today with some mangoes. <gasps> Looks good, nice and ripe. These stupid pillows are still here. This one's what? painful. Why this is actually painful. Them? I don't know. I knew you'd fall I out thought it'd love be with them. I can't believe they're still on the sofa a week later. I'm still in love with my Christmas mat though. So yeah, there what? there's something about it. It's got a little bit of a charm, Absolutely. I think. Guys, we've got our mango. Oh, I don't think I showed you exactly what it looked like. Can you? There you go. You can see that. Fresh from the market. And all the juice and stuff, it kind of mixes into oh, the yogurt. It's so good. No sugar needed with this kind of thing. No. And the yogurt. Worth it. Hmm? Worth it. Oh, worth the rain. It's worth really the rain. Now. Worth the hours round trip just to get some mangoes. Mm Hundred -hmm. percent. Oh my god, it reminds me of being on Gimaris Island. Being a mango. That's what you're gonna say. Reminds me of when I used to be a mango. <laughs> it was a good be life. Be a man though. Yeah. Okay. It's like you're not a man anymore. All right. Also, the yogurt has no sugar in. You mm. really don't need to add sugary stuff to mangoes. They're mm. so sweet already. Mmm. They're the best in the world. Still early. Don't know why that's relevant. Wait, what's wrong with you? I thought you were gonna lead off. That's Can I carry on what I was saying? Yeah, sure. I was gonna say, compared, comparing them to the mangoes in the UK, different story. The mangoes oh, in the UK, are like, they're like a different type of mango, I guess. They're like red and green and this big, and they taste like, they're nice, but they're not this. They're not sweet, they're not yellow, they're not They're such a creamy. different flavor, yeah, creamy. Yeah. You okay? I don't know, they're so different. Yeah, I just need to eat this. I'm enjoying okay. it so much. So we're gonna end this video off here, guys. Thanks for watching this morning. Um, we're filming, we're actually filming more videos today. So if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the vlogs, please subscribe and come back tomorrow for a new video from us. Uh, other than that, thanks for coming along with us this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Ru I can't, oh, can't even believe it. I think we're gonna acknowledge this properly in the next vlog, but for us in real time right now, we just hit 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, I think the video that we filmed this morning already before this one has already has acknowledged it? that. So you guys I know think, that. And loads you of know. you have been messaging and commenting <laughs> yeah, anyway. So thank, you, thank you so much. I can't believe the next, it's road to half a million now. That's unreal, unreal. Anyway, crazy. until then guys, we will see you in the next Daily, Daily Juice. Juice. Bye. Goodbye. Oh. Let us know if you get some mangoes after this video. Yes. And what your favourite way to enjoy a mango is? Shake, yogurt on its own? Let me know. Comment below. Bye guys.